All right, so how do we figure out what techniques are what? Well, there's a couple of different ways. One of the ways that we differentiate our techniques is by how much pressure we use. Uh, and that was actually the third on the scale of pushing, right? We have one that goes deeper than that called chafing. Some of you, might be, some of you guys were felt invigorated by that workout. We have even another technique that has more pressure. So chafing is our heaviest amount of pressure, and that kind of presses down to the bone. Pushing is what you just saw, pushing pretty deep. Oh, just holler out that. Uh, pushing is what you just did. Then we have two lighter forces called rubbing and sweeping. So you can kind of think of when you press down onto your patient's body, the most superficial area is just the skin, right? So you could have techniques like we call sweeping. It's just very light, very soft on the skin. Then you could press down a little bit deeper to the fat level, right? A little bit deeper. And you know you're pressing to the fat level when you press down, and you can see above and below where you're pressing moving. Right? With sweeping force, you don't see anything is not, nothing is engaged. Press a little bit deeper, and then my hand, you can see my hand and my shoulder moving a little bit. So we just have this idea that that's one of the characteristics of the technique. But another way that we can kind of think about how techniques are laid out is by how fast they go, right? The speed. Pushing is about 100, maybe 120 times a minute. That's the one that we just did. Rolling is about three times that. Uh, trembling, which you guys know is vibrational techniques, so they're about 600 times a minute, so that's pretty fast. And then some others, just some, uh, and then we have some that don't have any speed at all. You just go as fast or slow as you need to go, like grasping. Another way to think about how twin out techniques are organized is by where they show up at in the treatment. So, you know, when you first start off with a brand new patient, you don't want to just drop the people's elbow on them, right? They may not appreciate that. They may not trust you. They may not come back. So you have to usually start off the opening in a more comforting sort of touch uh, so that they develop some trust with you. And then once they trust you, you can go deeper, you can go more aggressive techniques to do whatever has to be. We usually divide treatments up into three parts. We have an opening phase, the main body of the treatment phase, and then we have a thing that we do to close out the treatment. And a technique like pushing could look different in all three phases, right? All the techniques might look different depending on when they show up at in the treatment. Does that make sense? Does that mesh a little bit with what you guys already have thought about body work? So not that different, right? Not too radically different. It's in Twena, we may also add some other uh, treatments, seven star hammer, or cupping, gua sha. There, there may be some other things that we bring in the table um, that you guys may not, may not, it may be more exotic for you guys, but you may see that now.